Jennifer Aniston, 54, catapulted to fame as the iconic Rachel Green in 1994, remaining a beloved character for the show's full 10-year run. However, now almost two decades since the last episode, the actress admitted there were some issues with the series that would likely have seen it cancelled if it was made in the modern zeitgeist. The murder mystery star declared in an interview with AFP news agency, there's a whole generation of people, kids, who are now going back to episodes of Friends and find them offensive. Jennifer added that some of the issues were never intentional, but admitted, others, well, we should have thought it through. However, she continued, I don't think there was a sensitivity like there is now. Now, it's a little tricky because you have to be very careful, which makes it really hard for comedians, because the beauty of comedy is that we make fun of ourselves, make fun of life. She claimed that jokes in the time of Friends didn't cater to sensitivities as they were more about educating people on how ridiculous people were, and now we're not allowed to do that. The actress declared that regardless of controversies, humor is a requirement for life adding, we can't take ourselves too seriously. Especially in the United States. Everyone is far too divided. Friends has previously been pulled under the microscope due to its glaring lack of diversity not just in the main cast but the entire 10 season run offering very few characters of color. Don't miss! Paul O'Grady's pal saw him full of life at home just before death, insight, Paul O'Grady's tearful words prior to his death amid health struggles, latest, Philip Schofield seen for first time since brother's trial began, pictures, Last year, Jennifer's co-star Lisa Kudrow opened up on the debate, telling The Daily Beast that the show's creators, David Crane and Marta Kaufman, didn't have the experience, knowledge or ability to tell stories from diverse backgrounds. She said, I feel like it was a show created by two people who went to Brandeis and wrote about their lives after college. And for shows especially, when it's going to be a comedy that's character-driven, you write what you know. They have no business writing stories about the experiences of being a person of color, 